Hello, good evening, colorful friends. Welcome. Welcome to the episode number uh, four for the sweets and cakes. Uh, the coloring book is a romantic country, as you know, and it's by Harry. This is the first tale. Uh, so I hope you are having a lovely weekend and, um, and let's color. Let's color together, right? Uh, so the last uh, live stream, I was answering some, some questions for the color tube. I hope you enjoy it. It was a little bit different. Um, so it was a great challenge, actually. <laughs> um, so I'm going to color today the roll cake, as you can see here. The roll cake. Uh, it's uh, I suppose with chocolate and uh, uh, some uh, strawberry jam, probably. So let's let's do it. I just notice now that I don't have an. an oops. Hello. It was the light. So we were using all these um, all these color palette for the Paris breast, the macaron, the opera cake. Then we have the savarine. It's here. And the tarte. Can you imagine that uh, this tarte has so many colors and I just realized now that I wrote tarte like in Portuguese. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how does I, I think it's not like that in English but anyway uh, she has here tarte probably in, in uh, French and I wrote it French and Portuguese is almost the same. Um, we share the same mother language, which is Latin. So some some words are very similar. So I will start uh, choosing some color pencils for the roll cake. And as usually, I have here my art notebook that is really beautiful. I really like it very much when I bought it. It's a pity that I can't, <laughs> can't paint it <laughs> because it's really beautiful. Uh, it actually reminds me the, the, uh, the streets from Lisbon, from a, a small part of, of it. Uh, so uh, I have here the prisma color that's what i am using for this coloring coloring along with you i hope you are enjoying uh, this color along um with uh, the coloring sweets uh, let's see uh, so as um, as you know i am picking some um reference pictures on google i just google roll cake and I am choosing whatever I want to uh, so I will pick actually um, the colors uh, like I want it as um, um, a roll cake of um, chocolate and strawberry so let's pick some colors for it maybe it would help me to to pick here some colors that I already I already, already chose, for example, for the opera cake that is with chocolate. So the opera cake, I choose the black, dark amber and uh, dark brown. So probably I would pick actually uh, these three colors to do the, the cover of with chocolate for the roll cake. I think it's a, a good idea. As I said to you before, um, you have here, and uh, whenever you will uh, watch my live stream, you can 
always uh, like pause <laughs> when you see it uh, see my my palette of colors and if you want you can use it for uh, this coloring in particular or in other other page that you would like to color and you like it to uh, this color palette you can perfectly use it um, I think it's a very a very nice tip for the ones that uh, have some um, issues uh, to to pick colors and to combine them uh, so you can just come here and see which colors I choose this could be only it's not about uh, to color a tarte <laughs> you can use it for I don't know to color uh, flowers to whatever you want whatever you want you just pick one color palette and would uh, help you uh, to do a different coloring, for example. Um, you can pick these colors of the Paris breast and do a skin tone, uh, tone for example. Why not? I will do it. Maybe I will. Uh, it's a good idea for a next uh, color along with you just to pick uh, a color palette that doesn't have nothing to do like for example cakes and the skin tone and I would do something like this to pick these colors and do it and color a skin tone why not this is the challenge <laughs> uh, that we can uh, make uh, uh, for our ourselves so I wanted to have actually uh, some other page because this one finished and I knew that I had here something but you just give me a second that I will come back very soon and I will pick it uh, uh, pick another another uh, page um, to to write my notes for me and for you. Hello Rebecca from Vermont. Welcome, welcome, nice to see you. Hi Debs. Hello. Here we are. Sorry, I'm back. I just picked uh, <laughs> a page. And um, so we are going to color the roll cake. Who is coloring uh, along with me? Like live? I want to know. I would like to know who is coloring right now. So roll cake. Roll cake. And of course, I have my tea, and it's really, really hot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you, girls. You know that you are the best. <laughs> so I'm going to pick some colors, right? So I said that I will pick from the same of Opera Cake, the what, the black, the dark and the dark brown. So let's pick it here. I have here my lovely Christmas color pencils. You know that so far it's my favorite. I don't know how to live without them. <laughs> So what do I have? Uh, dark amber, uh, dark brown, and what was the the other one? Black, black. Where do I have black? Here is my black. So probably I will just um, uh, sharpen a little bit the dark brown. Let me put it. 
uh, here on the side to dark brown yeah ladies you are not coloring what time is there where you are watching me perhaps you are in a in a beach the devs are you in a beach you are from brazil so probably you are having so much fun there <laughs> with the uh, warm, warm weather. I love summer. I really love summer. I cannot say that it's not my favorite. It is my favorite. I love, I, I like very much uh, as well the, um, um, uh, that period of time of November, uh, well, October, that is autumn, and November, and then December. I really love it. It's when we are uh, back to the cold weather, and we start picking our blankets, and, and we start uh, drinking hot, uh, hot drinks like uh, coffee or... Um, coffee with milk or tea so dark amber and it's number nine four seven and then dark brown and i and the opposite is when it it is coming the summer that we just uh are free from the heavy clothes that we are wearing for i don't know here in europe for more than often a year right especially here in slovakia is but this uh, this winter is not being so cold like uh, the previous one so it was really nice <laughs> okay now i look to the chat and i saw your comments yeah that's there summer for sure and uh, it was really uh, the carnival right the crazy carnival in uh, in uh, in brazil and uh, and rebecca is saying that is a mud season uh, no longer winter, but not yet spring. So it's exactly like in uh, Slovakia. It's the same. Uh, it's not cold. It's not snowing. Uh, it is raining. Imagine that today it's 8 degrees. Uh, now at night 4 degrees. But it's really not cold. And uh, tomorrow it says that it will be a sunny day with 19 degrees so it's like crazy and uh, then uh, 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 from Monday it will be really cold like a minimum one degree so we don't know <laughs> we don't know where where to stay <laughs> where are we <laughs> so I will start with the um, dark brown sorry i'm going to zoom in because i think it's better for you i will just adjust here yeah uh dark brown so this is the dark brown this is the lightest color that i have I will leave somehow a space uh, in white just to give, um, let's say, a highlight. And with this weather, we don't know exactly what to do, right? Uh, well, I believe that uh, Debs is going to the beach, maybe. 
I don't know if she likes to go to the beach. Oh, you know that uh, in Portugal, we are just going to a spa night, having a coffee, or the guys, mostly the guys. Nothing that is sexist, but I don't know. I don't like much uh, beer, so, but the guys drink beer. Maybe I will drink uh, sangria from our lovely neighbors, uh, the Sp Spanish, uh, that invented the sangria. That is um, a drink. I don't know if you know what is a sangria. Uh, it's a drink, a cold, really iced uh, drink with uh, wine, and you can join uh, some juice, for example, or you can just uh, uh, put some. Um, how is the name? Champagne or vodka, for example, and then mix it with real, uh, real. Um, fruit whatever kind of fruit do you want uh, i like very much sangria of red fruits for example i like the acid with the sweet and oh of course um and i would love also to have a caipirinha <laughs> because we have from uh, heritage from Brazil. You know that uh, depths in Portugal we drink a lot of caipirinha. It's very good. <laughs> oh, you are not going to, to the beach, Debs. Oh, I would love to go. Like, I would like to live somewhere where it would be almost always summer so i will grab now the dark amber yeah and i will give here a dark tone on the edges that i want these little parts i hope you are uh, seeing well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, I, I suppose I am missing already the summer, right? All oh, those days, those nights, especially the nights, I don't know, but I remember a uh, special dose uh, at the end of the day, uh, the afternoon and the sunset and then the longest and the hot nights in Portugal. Sometimes it's like 10 in the, <laughs> at night and it's not dark, it's getting dark. It's really nice. I like it very much. In Portugal, <clears throat> comparing to the rest of Europe, <clears throat> it has less one hour. So it gets dark even later than the other countries. And for example, if you would be in a Açores, in our island, it would be, it would be less, even less one hour from Portugal and from the, the rest of Europe, two hours. It's really nice. Uh, you might think, you might think now that, mm, Andrea, it's already starting to miss her country. Maybe yes. Maybe yes. So the last time I was, it was in December. So we are in March, so yes, definitely, I'm missing it already. Oops, and I got distracted there. Okay, 
And now I will grab my black and I am doing the opposite as I did here, but then you will notice. <coughs> No fear of sunburn. <laughs> like, uh, um, I am from the north. I am from Porto. Uh, have you heard about Porto? So it's the second biggest city in Portugal. The first one is, of course, this one, the capital, and I live in the north. Which has actually <clears throat> a rainy, rainy uh, winters, and I, I also missed it. <laughs> I also missed the rainy days. Uh, here in, in Slovakia, or at least in Bratislava, because I noticed that is very different from the rest of the country, to, to, uh, the weather. Um, it doesn't uh, rain so much, it rains just a bit, but in, in Porto or in, in the place or in the north, it rains a lot and I miss that those rainy days. <coughs> So the dark brown now, I am using the dark brown. So this is supposed to be the chocolate cover. And it will have here also chocolate in the middle. Oh, Debs, you are invited to come and visit me. Maybe I will not. Uh, what would you like to visit, Slovakia or Portugal? <laughs> because right now I am in Slovakia. But if you want to come and visit, you feel free. I will try to be a good uh, uh, guide, sir. Okay, but for here, for the, this middle, to give some mm, highlight, what should I pick for the highlight? That's my question now. I believe when you are coloring, you also question yourself, how, oh, what color should I pick? What should be nice here? I don't know. Maybe a chestnut that is really, or a chocolate. Let me see. Oh, let me pick the here the chocolate. Maybe the chocolate. It's a little bit uh, lighter. Let's see the chocolate. I told you already the story of chocolate in the in a, another live stream. Okay, just join in here somehow. Ah, and perhaps I will be using the blender. I'm not using the blender so so much nowadays. And yeah, I think I, I will. I live in Winson, the birthplace of Belmont and Home to the country known as the Cover of Bridge. Oops, I missed the one. Okay, that's if you want to go to to Portugal, then we need to make sure that I am there <laughs> uh, to to at least meet you, right? And uh, uh, to drink um, something with you. Maybe not a caipirinha, but I will show you what we drink there. 
as well. Um, and uh, Rebecca, yes, uh, when I uh, the first time that you um, join in in um, a live stream, uh, do you remember that I was googling uh, Vermont? It's really really close to Canada, if I am not mistaken. And it's a really, really beautiful uh, place. It is really green. Uh, that's what I saw. Of course, during the winter, I believe there is a lot of snow. Uh, it uh, that I believe also that is really charming. Um, so I'm looking for my uh, colorless blender. I just found the the one that I was using for a long time. Polychromos, polycolor, sorry. Yes, it's in your uh, north border. Yes, it's not far from it, from Vermont, as far as I remember to see in Google Maps. Um, of course, it's always tricky when we look to, to, to Google Maps and we see, oh, it's close, but actually it's not close. Maybe it's that. But when I saw it, when I was searching for it, I I thought it was close from the border. So you know what? I'm not finding. But one of the things that I must do is to prepare myself to the live streams, which I am not... Ah, exactly. Your border connects with Canada. That's what I was uh, really thinking about. <laughs> I should prepare myself for the live streams. You know that I don't prepare my live streams usually. Uh, the last live stream that I prepared, it was the one, uh, the last one that I was answering some questions. And usually I don't prepare it. Uh, so it can happen these kind of things that I don't know where are my pencils or the papers, the colorless blender from Prismacolor, it's somewhere, I believe it's somewhere, but uh, this one works very fine, you know that uh, when I didn't uh, have the colorless blender of Prismacolor, I was using this one from uh, Polycolor, from Kuinur. Um, Polycolor is also a um, wax-based pencil, so I think it works fine. And actually, it uh, this colorless blender endures much longer than the Prisma color. The Prisma color disappears actually. You use it and uh, it's immed immediately wasted. So I will continue with, with it with my dark brown, dark brown. I will do exactly like I did using the same colors and the same strategy or technique. <laughs> ah, guys, you know what? I uh, today I um, created an account in Coffee in order to. If you would like to support my channel, you can now uh, give, well, let's say, buy me a coffee <laughs> if you want to support my channel. And uh, But I, I didn't uh, actually update there, but I'm thinking like, if you would like to... Uh, to support it, all, all the coffees that you buy for me, uh, I will buy um, art supplies like coloring pencils, whatever you'd like me to show you or to color with. So all that uh, those coffees 
would be for that reason. Uh, I think it's fair for me and for you to use uh, the money of the coffees, not for myself, <laughs> to buy your coffee, <laughs> which I could, <laughs> but no, uh, but uh, to, um, to actually, actually uh, have more art supplies because I don't have so, so many. Well, I have some, but... Uh, um but i could uh, could experiment with the you other other things maybe i don't know i just created let's see yeah rebecca really uh, and it's really cheap uh, this uh, this color colorless blender of Koinur it's really cheap. Actually, Koinur is an artist line of pencils and art supplies. I even use uh, the soft pastels. I don't know if you are uh, updated or not, but I am using a lot of uh, uh, soft pastels because I really like to work with them, and uh, I am thinking to uh go through it uh, like uh in a artist uh, way I like to create my own paintings with uh, um soft pastels because i fell in love with it and i started using it with my uh coloring books of course uh and i got really i fell in love with uh, the supplier that i really want to um, uh, to experiment and everything and they are from Kuinur and they are uh, um, artist line like uh, Prismacolor or Polychromos uh, but the most important thing I think uh, is that for us well if you don't have so much money to spend uh, and you want um, art supply that has a good quality. So I think Quinor would be a, a very good choice. And I must tell you that I am not paid <laughs> to say these things, okay? I am just honestly saying to you uh, my experience from ever. Uh, Quinor is a brand that is from, uh, is made in the Czech Republic. So I start coloring here in Slovakia and, um, and I didn't, didn't know about anything about coloring, really. I just uh, decided to, to buy one coloring book and I just bought pencils and I actually have them here. I don't know if I showed you before. I will zoom out uh, because this is a color along, but it's also shetty. So it's the time that I have to chat with you. And I bought this uh, school line um, pencils and uh, I have here a mix. I have from Koinur and I also have from uh, uh, Stadletter, uh, Stadletter, I don't even know how to say it. I have fa uh, Father Tassel somewhere, I don't know where. Um, where is it? I don't know. I have, um, um I have, where is it? A mappet. Here it is one of the mappets. Color peps mappet. Uh, I have, uh, so these were the first coloring pencils that I bought and I really enjoy it more than the other brands, even Faber-Castell, the school line. I really like it very much. The, uh, this one is uh, Faber-Castell, for example. Um, I really enjoy it, the Puinot. And I just noticed, uh, like uh, some weeks ago, that my first pencils are aquarelle. <laughs> 
and I actually use it for aquarelle in, in one of my recent uh, uh, color alongs in, uh, sorry, I will zoom in, uh, in uh, Instagram. Uh, so I use it for my lady of spring uh, for the background. I wanted to give a try and see how does they work. And uh, surprisingly, they work really, really great guys and this is like uh, i don't know two euros three euros i don't know how many 30 pencils really uh they are like the school line but they are really amazing i just love it and uh, this uh, color blast uh, colorless blender from polycolor it's like one euro or something uh it's not even two euros, I believe. I'm not sure, but I I know that it's not expensive. So I really, really recommend for you guys that uh, you don't have so much money to to buy Prisma colors or something, and you still don't know what to to buy. I think we know it's a it's a good brand at least i have experienced it and i like them i don't know if you will like as much as i do but i do i do like them uh, so yes this is my advice for you and uh, and don't forget that you also can do uh, really beautiful colorings with cheap uh, art supplies you don't need to spend so much money uh, to to color it. You just need to feel inspired and just let your hand and your mind do everything for you. It will do the rest for you. Don't worry. And coloring is for relaxing, to have fun, to you know, uh, to spare your time in a good way, of course. Oh, Rebecca, only for one year. Um, well, you will learn a lot. You know that I. What I can tell you is that I start. Um, I start um, coloring, and I was not showing my colorings to anyone. It was just only for me, because I actually didn't know there was a huge uh, community of coloring and colorists. I didn't know about it. Really, I was really on delay. Uh, everything started in 2014, 2015. And I ju just colored uh, in the latest uh, 2016 in October. That's when I start coloring. And actually, it uh, the coincidence is that I started coloring here in Slovakia because I was feeling like... <gasps> Oh, those winters were really <laughs> horrible for me. What can I do? <laughs> I was not used to that because in my country, even if it's uh, cold or rainy, it's not a uh, hard winter like here. So I was like, oh, what am I going to do? So I'm going to use dark amber. Um, so I didn't know exactly what to do, but I always... Uh, thought that mm, coloring would be a very nice hobby uh, because I thought in the time that I would just buy a coloring book and uh, some pencils and it would be like that because previously I was doing crochet and uh, when I was doing crochet I was uh, you know uh, crocheting uh, clothes, uh, bags and everything. I started selling them uh, to friends. I went to uh, to parties and etc. 
to buy them to market I did a lot but I was collecting all of those stuff at home and I was like oh my gosh because you know it's hard to sell some whatever you do as a heart uh, or an art craft um, and I was like oh my god I cannot because I was thinking when I, I moved to Slovakia oh, maybe I, I will start to crocheting uh, again but then I thought oh no because I'm going to collect all those uh, yards and stuff no I don't want it I don't want it uh, so I thought that coloring would uh, would be a nice uh, oops a nice uh, did you see it was dancing now <laughs> the, the pencil <laughs> and I was like no okay uh, coloring would be would save me space I will not uh, uh, have so much trouble to to keep all the things but guess what guess what that now I don't know what to do with all my coloring books one day that I need to move out from here. I don't know how am I going to move all my <laughs> coloring books. <laughs> because it's just like you start buying and never ends. Well, now I am, I am really uh, focused to not to buy so many coloring books. Whatever I see. Uh, I can tell you guys that I have uh, 800 uh, subscribers now on, on my channel and I thought, okay, uh, when I reach uh, 1000, I will be doing a giveaway. So I was thinking this for a long time to give away, to do a giveaway when I reach 1000 subscribers and um, but I really don't know how to do a giveaway so I will need to search a little bit more uh, for that but I was like okay I will give away and this weekend yesterday actually I was in a bookshop here and I was like oh no I know what I am going to to give to them <laughs> So I have already a book for that giveaway that I am planning. I hope everything will be fine for that. Uh, because I really don't know how to do it, but I hope I will manage somehow. I will Google or something. Or if you have some tips, please leave some comments there. Uh, that will help me and I will be very thankful as always uh, for your tips. So yes, I will uh, I'll do it. And I was myself in my own conversation. Uh, I don't know what I was saying previously. So let me see your, your, <laughs> your shit, right? Maybe I will remember. Okay, why do I move uh, to Slovakia? Well, it happens that I met a guy <laughs> and he, he was not from Portugal and we just tried, oh, it's a complicated story steps but anyway um so we we actually wanted to be together but it couldn't be in my country or his country because our countries were really a failure in the time there was a, those that crisis going on so um so we decided to move abroad uh to go uh to work somewhere else to try to to have an experience outside our countries and give a try to ourselves so we we came here 
we end here because I have a friend here that is is working in the same company that uh, I am now and uh, so we found a job there and we are here for three years already and that's the main reason that I came to Slovakia let's say it's about love <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's great, Rebecca. Yes, actually, you know, that I started exactly like you, you know. That's the point where I was in the story. Um, I was starting, uh, so I started coloring and then I went to Facebook groups and I found some Facebook groups where they were sharing uh, their colorings and I was so ashamed, like it's not a shame, it's like a, a shy, shy to uh, to share my colorings, you know, because whatever I was seeing, oh my gosh, they are amazing and they are, they are amazing. <laughs> so I was a little bit shy, oh, do you think that they will like mine? So the first post, I put it in a Brazilian group, coloring book, uh, coloring uh, group, I mean, and uh, they were like, uh, uh, I received so many, so many likes on that post and comments, and I was like, oh, so I shouldn't be so much afraid of it to share my stuff. So they encouraged me to, to share more and more, and then... Well, I start sharing and uh, then I discover I was not a YouTube user so often only for music to listen music. And then I found out there is a huge community here on YouTube of colorists. And I was like, no, this is amazing. But I never thought to create content. I just start thinking about it when I start thinking I don't want just to color i want to share what i learn to other people other people that uh, are like me or the, like how i felt in the time i want to share i want to share my way of coloring it doesn't mean that it's the best way you know we all have our own way to color and but i wanted to 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 do it and then i discovered something that i didn't know that was my i enjoy it very much to edit my videos the coloring videos i really enjoy it so much that uh, i like very much to do it sorry this is getting a little bit dusty. So that's why I'm using my rubber. Just a little bit. Maybe you don't see it on, on the screen, but I can see it. So yeah, I, I found another another hobby inside the hobby that was editing videos i really enjoy it now i must tell you that i am feeling a little bit tired uh tired not of doing it but uh, well it takes me a lot of time uh to color and to produce videos to record the videos and to edit the videos it is taking me really a long time and i'm getting really tired <laughs> i'm really getting tired because i you know i i'm not working only the normal work hours per week let's say eight hours per week uh, per day uh, in a regular job no i come home and i work uh, more for five hours so it's 
really 12, 13, 14 hours uh, work, working for, for my hobby. And for you guys, for you. Okay, I think, uh, do you have Instagram? It's not for me, it's for Rebecca, I suppose. Um, yes, it is really amazing, the coloring community. I think uh, we have this uh, very friendly way to, uh, to respect each other and to collaborate with each other and to support each other. I think... This is very important. So here I am going to color with uh, some pink. Just wait a second. Because the, the middle, I want it as, um, you know, um, a strawberry cream, let's say. So I will use the deck, uh, deck rose, for example. Deck rose that needs to be sharpened, as you can see. Needs to be sharpened. Uh, the deck rose and uh, the pink rose and pink. Pink is a color of fashion. <laughs> Pink. Uh, oh, where is the deco? Deco pink is it? No, pink rose. Where is pink rose? Here. Well, I don't know where is pink rose. Maybe I wrote it wrong. Let me see. No, I have pink rose and what is missing is deco rose. Deco rose or deco, yeah, deco pink. I just noticed that I wrote wrong here the names and I got confused just now. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Rebecca, thank you. Um, do you like, actually I'd like to ask, you know, because this is uh, really important for me even to think how should I do the videos, uh, do you like the videos that I do, or that I post on Tuesdays, the ones that are only music, do you use, do you think they are use, useful, I, 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 I asked to you Rebecca, but I also ask to everyone that is watching now, what do you think about those videos? If they are... Um, if they are helping you somehow, if you like to watch them, or what would you change? So I'm going to take notes. Uh, pink. Nine to nine. Uh, then I don't even know which one is. Pink rose, maybe. Pink rose, it's a number 10, 18. And then the deco pink. It's the lightest one. Mm -hmm. Deco pink, it's 10, 14. Okay, so we have the colors and we can actually start coloring our roll cake, the cream. 
and I will be starting with the lightest, the decoping. So I'm just going to uh, use it all around. Oh, that's great. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Rebecca. That's incredible. Which means that too, you find you found something in common with me, which I really, really thank you. It's really cute. It's really cute to think about it because I remember when uh, well, I remember and I, I I still do it when uh, I like some some coloring channel. I just follow. I just uh, support it. I I do everything, you know, because I like. And uh, that is uh, really nice to know that someone is doing the same, but with me. <laughs> because you must uh, you you. I have no idea how I feel it. I really feel grateful. I really feel happy to know that, you know, that some, it, we are friends, you know, we share the same, the same uh, um, hobby, the same passion. And it's amazing, even if uh, it's, uh, something online or uh, that we don't know each other uh, in person it's we are here spending some time together it's amazing I really 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 like it and uh, I don't know how to express myself <laughs> I just know that I feel very happy that uh, it is happening this in my life right now. That's cool. And you see, this is amazing because when we do live streams, we actually make friends as well on the chat, <laughs> like you and Debs, uh, like uh, Rebecca and Debs. They are now just sharing, um, just sharing their uh, Facebook accounts and everything. But it's a pity, Rebecca, that you don't have Instagram because I am sharing a lot of pictures there and um, and videos as well, stories, color alongs. I am much more active on Instagram than on uh, Facebook. And if you want to find me on Facebook, uh my personal page doesn't have nothing to do with uh, coloring for example uh, and i am not so active there so if you want really to find me on facebook i will share now the link for my page because i created a, a page uh, the coloring page for me and for you for me to share with you when i'm going to be live when do I post a coloring video or whatever? Whatever is going on uh, with coloring, I am posting there as well as in Instagram. But for the ones that don't have Instagram, you can uh, 
uh, sorry, I was looking on. You can uh, search here. You can, uh, you have here my, I just posted now on the chat my, the link for my page on Facebook. So you can, um, you can, uh, I don't know, follow or, or like uh, the page. I don't know how this, how, how to say it. And also there is a tab there, uh, which is called the community tab. It's a community where whenever you want to share your coloring, that you were inspired by my colorings, you can share it there, for example. It's funny. So I'm going to use the pink rose now. It's a bit darker. Just going to give you some dark spots. To it. Oops. I will drink a little bit of my tea. <laughs> oh, you will get uh, used to it um, very easily. Um, I was refusing myself to use Instagram uh, back some years ago before before starting the coloring i had a friend that was like andrea you must for you must create you must have an instagram account you will see there so a lot of pictures very nice pictures etc and i was like no 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 i don't want one more social network but actually when i uh, start this coloring thing so I had a reason to have a, a, actually an Instagram account because, you know, I, I am not the person that is uh, on uh, uh, social media to show myself and take selfies and whatever. I don't like that. And I actually don't like to follow people like that. I'm sorry about it, <laughs> to be so honest. <laughs> Sometimes I, I am too honest, I shouldn't be. Uh, but uh, yeah, because I don't want to see their faces just because, uh, you know, I don't want. Only if they bring something nice to my life, yeah. But uh, in general, I don't like that kind of profile. So, <laughs> so yeah. I didn't want to just uh, create an account just to, to have their whatever. I don't. I didn't want. But when I start coloring, and uh, well, I discovered there was a world also in Instagram, and that you could share uh, your pictures there of the colorings. I mean, <laughs> and I was like, okay, so this is good. And actually, I, I really like the platform to share uh, content there. Uh, I really like it. So I feel, I feel that it's fine. Yeah, I, I totally understand you, Rebecca. <laughs> 
going slowly, slowly growing to the 21st century. Yeah. Well, the what is the advantage? This is really a hard question. <laughs> uh, first of all, it's different. The main thing of Instagram is pictures. Uh, meanwhile, they are uh, uh, things are changing. I'm using pink, by the way. Now the third color, the darkest one. Um, Rebecca, you also will find uh, colorists doing live streams and you will find there only uh, people that uses Instagram. Uh, for example, I have a huge uh, a friend list of colorists that are using only Instagram and not uh, YouTube, for example. They don't come here to YouTube to watch my live stream, but they watch my live stream on uh, Instagram. So they are Instagrammers. And there you have a huge, uh, also a huge community and you have a lot of uh, challenges going on you have the, the giveaways you have the color alongs when people are joining for a color along like in groups on facebook it happens also on instagram um, you can easily find uh, for example i am coloring now this page and you can find loads of uh, colorings if you just google uh, just google just uh, search on instagram a uh, romantic country and you will see a lot of uh, uh, colorings of uh, of for example this book uh, i don't know maybe it works a little bit like pinterest uh, i don't use pinterest but i know that you can save the the pictures and whatever it inspires you. So it's a lot uh, similar to Pinterest uh, too. And yeah, mainly that. You have the stories. Now you have the stories also in uh, on Facebook. But it, uh, the story started in Instagram, I believe. Uh, it's funny, it's funny. Uh, hi May, hello, hello. Maybe May will help me to define uh, what or to compare or uh, the Facebook and the Instagram. Uh, what do you prefer, May? Facebook or Instagram? What is the <laughs> comparison that we can make on Facebook uh, from Facebook and? And Instagram. Well, on on Facebook, actually, you don't have groups. You have the hashtags, and maybe you can find uh, people associated on those hashtags. It's a little bit different. How does it work, actually? Or uh, dads also use Instagram. I don't know. How do you feel about it? I was drinking now a little bit of tea. I'm getting thirsty because I am speaking non-stop. Um, yeah, I think you should give a try one day when you decide to, to do it. Uh, mm -hmm. So now I need to color these little pieces that I want it to be strawberry. Um, so I actually need something like 
Okay, I will zoom out, otherwise it will be really strange for you. I will pick a crimson red, for example. Oops. Oops. Crimson red. And process red. A red and a pink. Would you join these colors together? <laughs> okay, let's go back to the coloring. Yeah, depths. Yes, yes, yes. Share inspirations. Uh, watch live streams as well. Yeah, chat with people. I actually use also uh, more Instagram than Facebook nowadays. Okay, I agree also with me. I also use more the chat of Facebook to be in contact with family and people and friends, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. There are different different reasons to use. Each and other. I think they are good platforms anyway. I mainly Rebecca, I would tell you that mainly Facebook for coloring, uh, the best of Facebook is the groups. Art to groups, actually. Let me correct my poor English. <laughs> uh, I, I like... Uh, I like... Uh, uh, Facebook for groups. I even share my pictures. I see the other colorings through uh, through the groups. Uh, yeah. So this is process red. Let me try here. Uh, Rebecca, it's a little bit different how you look people, but yes, you can, uh, but normally uh, they don't have the same name as they would have on Facebook, for example, uh, or it really depends, I don't know. But here yeah, you can, and now actually uh, Instagram feature uh, something new uh, that is uh, putting their uh, like hashtags by by search. You can search hashtags. You can search people. You can search uh, category like art or painting or I don't know what uh, fashion whatever there's a lot of things I forgot to 
put here the colors that I was using. I forgot. So this is the crimson red. Oh no, carmine red. Carmine red actually. Uh, that is nine two six. Which means that I picked the wrong red because what I wanted was the crimson lake or the crimson red and not the carmine red. So I will try to correct it now and I will be using it. Process, process, oh, process red 994. And let's see if I find. Oh, Jesus Christ! The disaster almost fell, fell down. Uh, Scarlet, but actually, I don't have here because it's somewhere where it shouldn't be. Crimson red, here is it. So, I will be using. Crimson red, the edges. Crimson red, Yeah, May is saying exactly what it is. Maybe I could, I have in my description box the links for um, the links for Instagram, Facebook and Twitch because uh, if you don't know yet, I will tell you, I am mostly Sunday uh, and of afternoons or night. I am live streaming on Instagram and I am doing the pastel painting. I am doing it there. I, and I forgot about the coffee because I created today the coffee. How you can uh, support me there. As I said, uh, all the coffees that you will buy for me uh, and I will appreciate. I will uh, be um, buying art supplies if it's possible. Of course, I, I have no idea if it will work or not, but uh i will buy uh art supplies that you want me to buy for example for you to show you and to color for you or books for example whatever you want whatever actually you would like to um, i think i will need to give you something to this cake this roll cake <laughs> Rebecca uh, May, I think you found your best friend right now Rebecca <laughs> So funny So, I am just trying to see Because everything is new for me and I am also like you. I'm searching, searching. And drinking water. Water, no, the tea. But it's water, right? It's water. How was that thingy? Mm 
not now. I wish I could share my screen with you for you to know what I am doing right now. Stay great. Oh, yes. Long, long, long. <clears throat> no, I have no idea how to do this. Dashboard. What I mean on dashboard. Imagine I created this this thingy and I still don't know how to do it. No, I don't want nothing of this pencil. Your page see if it's here. No. No. Nothing even coming out. Okay. Uh, I'm going to speak in Portuguese. Vou começar a falar em português. Check page video. Page appearance now. Support. What is this? But how the hell? I did this this morning and I don't know how to do it now. Come on! How is it? Well, but in any case, you have the coffee, the coffee page. I just wanted to share it, guys. Why is this so complicated? Come on. That's good. It's complicated for me because I don't know how to do it with it. That's great. Your page I see so boring. I really am so tired. <laughs> But how did I do it? Because I did it and now I don't know how. Okay, it doesn't matter. So I will share here. Let's see if you didn't lose. New friends are great. Okay, I know I'm going to like them with that picture and get inspired by or anything I want to and only follow people I want. I like being the ignorant. I have my own music for these euros. How does that work in dollars? Uh, actually, it works on dollars. I set up mine on uh, uh, on euros. Uh, but I think you can change in dollars. But let me see. I will tell you how much is in dollars. Euros to dollars. Mm. So three euros, it's three forty dollars. Three dot four dollars. I suppose. No, 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 what? No. It's the same, it's basic, basically the same. Three euros, it's like three dollars. Um... <laughs> Rebecca. Yeah, it's more, it's exactly what uh, May is saying. Uh, the community is not so big, but uh, actually, as I was saying, there are people that uh, are on Instagram and they don't come to uh, to YouTube, for example. I know several people that does that. So I'm going to give here some little dots here in the middle, like dots of chocolate. So for now I am using the dark brown. So yeah, uh, this coffee is like three euros coffee, three dollars coffee. I don't know. It's some donation I created this morning. I, I was like, uh, just see. 
how does it work? It would help me actually. Uh, and I will, I would be, uh, as I said before, I would be using uh, the coffees for only for the channel, only for coloring supplies or whatever books i am not even sure if it would be able to pay a book <laughs> but <laughs> let's be optimist <laughs> so dark cumber ah and by the way by the way guys girls i just ordered the new book of uh, anna carlson i'm going to buy the new book her new book, I couldn't resist. I think it's beautiful. And it has a really beautiful uh, women face it. I love it. I don't know what about you, if you know the hat, uh, if you know that she is releasing a new, a new book, I think it's really beautiful let's spread here with the crimson red some of the strawberry in our lovely cake roll cake Yeah. I think yes, May. I think they do it automatically. You know that now the banks are very, very smart. <laughs> they just want, they convert immediately. But guys, I'm not saying for you to buy me a coffee, okay? I'm just saying that I just set up. And there is a way to support my channel. That is that way. <laughs> to buy coffee. I think it's sympathetic. It's a sympathetic way to support the artists and the colorists. And uh, but I will need to study about it because I think there are many things that we can do on that, like um, um, like in Patreon actually in Patreon uh, in Patreon I was thinking as as well in Patreon but I don't think it's a good time for that. Maybe one day later I will do it, but. <clears throat> I think like uh, to have uh, different content uh, on like exclusive content on uh, on coffee uh, but uh, I, I don't know I just saw it and I must tell you that I was a little bit uh, influenced just a little bit much <laughs> by Passionista Colorista because she she also I think you know her she has a podcast she she's live streaming she's doing content to YouTube and she did a coffee she created her coffee profile I don't know maybe one week or two weeks ago and I was thinking about it and I thought oh, maybe a good idea. <clears throat> oh, Debs, I totally understand you, actually. I think she is releasing, Anna Carlson is releasing uh, every year 
one book and it's around this time april yeah around april she is she is releasing the books i'm drinking tea and i would like to find as usual my poshka pen <laughs> Who is on my live streams knows that I always search for a Posca pen. <laughs> yeah, but um, uh, she released, she's going to release now. Now in uh, it's April, the Swedish version, and it's uh, available now, uh, the Swedish version. Oh, okay, May, thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you. Um, I hope you enjoy it. And I see you soon, hopefully. Um, yeah, I was saying that uh, Anna Carson released now a book and uh, it's called something in uh, <laughs> in uh, in Swedish that I cannot say. I cannot pronounce it. I don't know how to how to pronounce it. Um, but um, but in English, it's, it is called, as she said, um, Spirit Animals. And she just posted in her Instagram account, you see, Rebecca, uh, even the, how can I say it? The, always searching for the Posca pen. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Debs. Oh my gosh. Um, so, she did the, the flip through of her book uh, today, Anna Carlson. And and it's, I think it's beautiful, but, uh, you know, uh, I am a super fan of her coloring books. I really, really love her style. Uh, and I really enjoy her books, the cover, the paper. I like everything, actually. Uh, so, yeah. And... Uh, and I just ordered... I'm crazy. I ordered it. And it's now only available the Swedish version, but I don't care because otherwise, if I would have to wait for the English version, uh, it, it will be only released um, It will be only released in April, in August, the English version. And I said, okay, I'm not going to wait for for, for the English version. No way. <laughs> Hi, Marike. Welcome. Nice to see you. So now I just opened something that I shouldn't open here on my computer. Uh... I think I'm not going to color what I was thinking to color because it's too much and I'm getting tired, guys, sorry. I'm not a very good live streamer because I get tired after one hour and a half and I know that there are live streamers that can be live for three, four hours. I am not that kind. Uh, the thing is that I miss I I miss to to be live, uh, you know. It it looks like uh, from Saturday to another Saturday. It looks like it was long. It was like one month 
without uh, hanging out with you guys. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, oh, thank you, Rebecca. Thank you for being here. It was really nice, really nice to have you here with uh, with me and with us. We like it very much to chat with you and to know a little bit more of, of you. And I hope uh, we will see each other again in the in the future in the next uh, live streams thank you so much thank you rebecca <laughs> from vermut yeah that's i totally agree airy as i am coloring mary uh, maria troll i just have to um, the small um, the postcards i just have one uh, example konoko ebusa i don't have any coloring books of e of him i don't know if it's a he or a she but i suppose it's a he uh they are lovely as well and clara markova of course yes lovely i was uh looking forward to buy her coloring books uh and uh, i bought the last one it's the only one that i have it's the fairy miracles and i am enjoying a lot a lot um oh mysteria marike marike actually mysteria is also a very very beautiful book very very beautiful oh there are so many beautiful books that i would like to have <laughs> That one was in my wish uh, wishing list. I don't have a wishing a wish list actually for you to see. One day I will set up for you to see which is my wish list list. But uh, for sure, uh, Mysteria is one of the most beautiful books uh, here uh, nowadays. And uh, maybe I will just color this draggy. I don't even know if I am saying correctly. Draggy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So let's do it. I will do the turkey. <laughs> so as amendos, amendos, Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca, sorry, uh, Deborah. Yeah. <laughs> so I will be using the dark brown. For one of those dark brown i hope i did i put all of them here you have the two they uh, she has three right now which ones do you have Debs? dark brown And it's 946, 946. And I will be using chocolate that uh, I think I put it back. It's here. Chocolate. Because it's going to be a draggy of chocolate. Yeah. Uh, chocolate. And it's 1082. <laughs> you have it in your phone oh what a temptation <laughs> let me see if you can see it correctly or not let me zoom in a little bit more uh, there is a small uh, delay let's see So I will be using the dark brown.
Oh, you have the second one. Okay. They are beautiful. I really, I really appreciate her coloring books. I think they are really amazing. This is very simple actually to color this druggy, as you can see. The chocolate one. And it's actually in the time for druggies as um, as uh, Easter is coming. Easter is coming and I actually didn't choose a coloring for you guys for um, for Easter uh, last year I don't know let me zoom out just a little bit for you to see I think it was last year that I did this one for uh, for Easter and I am not sure if in this coloring book there are more stuff for Easter. Actually, I know that on the second tail there is. Maybe I will paint something from there. Or I will need to make a flip through to see if there are some Easter coloring that I could do. But I really enjoy it to color this one. I did a lot of dots here. I decided a few weeks ago I'm not going to buy new books. My stash is actually huge and I need a lot of more lives to finish them. <laughs> totally agree, Mary Kay. I totally agree. I don't have uh, enough time in my life to color all these books. <laughs> And we should just color whatever we have now. Yes, it's true. But, uh, well, we can uh, leave it as a heritage for our children, uh, grandchildren, the kids of our friends, as I don't have kids. Uh, so maybe I will leave to them. <laughs> Yeah, that's yes. You as well. You are the same. Yeah, uh, I think uh, the what uh, really pops me up to buy her Anna's person is because I am trying to do the collection, and I I, I love her her coloring books. So I am using now the Colorless Blender and it's from Polycolor. Koenuk is the brand. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, it's blending really amazingly. It's really blending even. I really like so much this blender for a price of one euro or something you have a very nice blender so I'm just going here to give a touch with the black dark brown the dark brown here and so we have our Dragon, draggy, 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 and this one is going to be in cream. So the cream, I will be using. Uh, sorry, I need to zoom out and zoom in all the time. Sorry about that. So I'm going to use actually the eggshell. It's a uh, 
coloring pencil that I don't use much. And as I said previously, I will start using more often what I don't use so often. <laughs> Egg shell. It's number 140. 140. I will be using also the cream because I want one chocolate draggy, a dark chocolate and a white chocolate <laughs> cream. But you can do whatever you want, right? This is just an example what we can do. Mm, and actually I need to add here some darker color. Eggshell. Beige. Maybe beige. Where is beige? Here is beige. And then after it, I will put all my coloring pencils, color pencils, in their right place as they belong. So I like it like that. So actually, beige is a little bit darker than eggshell, which it's fine. Uh, beige, and it's 997, 997. So yes, so we have our colors for the second. Uh, let's see if you can see it correctly. I hope so. I think with the second light, it's better than before. You can see better the, the book, right? Um, Yeah, well, I kind of understand you, actually, Marike. Uh, I, I really understand you. They look uh, alike. They look alike. I think this time she did, uh, she tried to do something different. Uh, when she, uh, well, she, she decided to do uh, this... Um, A spirit animals for each person she is giving an animal or something like that I'm not sure about about the concept uh, uh, but I saw there is some uh, some animals uh, and I must tell you that uh, the most funny thing is that I don't care so much about the animals but about the women that she rep represents in her colorings. I think it's just beautiful. Uh, and it's expiring to color all those women. However, well, as Marike said, we will not have enough life to do all of them <laughs> or to color all the all the books that we have so i will pick here the cream and i feel like that the beige is not enough here to give a contrast so i will def definitely pick something else something like a i don't know a golden golden road something let's see golden road where is it pumpkin hello it's here mm -hmm. golden road maybe can can work gold gold and it's number ten fourteen yeah ten fourteen
eventually I will use here a show plate just a little bit for the dark spots. Okay, and cream. Because it's almost the same, I understand you. But you know that we can do a lot of things in our in our books because there are a lot of uh, white spaces, uh, and I like it actually because it allows you to create more in our coloring books. Okay, now the beige. I'm going to give you a punch with beige. I like to use the word punch, uh, even if uh, the native English speakers would never say it. <laughs> I just like to use it. And uh, I have the eggshell that I will use it as well, just a little bit there in here. Uh -huh. And then I will blend with cream. And for this one, I'm not going to use the colorless blender. So come on, come on. Here a little bit and here because it tends to disappear what I have marked and I don't want it. I don't want it, so I want to mark it like that with cream again blending all together so here i will put a little bit of tashka pen here and here here and like that okay have a nice coloring marike thank you for passing by and see you soon, hopefully. And I will actually hand soon this live stream as well, because as I said before, I am uh, not a, a real live streamer. <laughs> I just come here to say hello, to talk a little bit with you because I cannot uh, be coloring for so many hours. And this happens actually normally. I don't, I am not coloring for so many hours. You know, I don't spend so many hours coloring. Uh, I actually pass more hours uh, editing my videos for you than to color. <laughs> but uh, for sure I will change. Uh, somehow how this page looks like at least that's what i am thinking about it it's to when i will give the background i will i will do some background for sure i i don't know what yet but i know that i don't like to leave any page uh in white well it never happened let's see I'm just trying to clean here a little bit. This dust, this is the dust from the but I suppose it's not possible to clean it from uh, the prisma colors, you know, that sometimes they get usually even if you burnish a lot it will Oh, delicious. 
Wow, I never I didn't notice about this this cake. <laughs> it looks nice. Yeah. Anyway, what I was saying, so uh what I was saying, I don't remember. You see, I'm getting tired. Yeah, I was saying that uh, I am not uh I don't usually spend so much time coloring. I like to color for one hour, one hour and a half, and then I make a break and I, I don't color so much, you know. I, I think we should make always a, a break. We should not be coloring for long and long hours because actually we also are in a, sometimes in a bad position. And we need to stretch a little bit and uh, and just uh, just to breathe some fresh air. <laughs> um, and uh, I am actually spending a lot of time, as you always see, uh, coloring uh, little little bits of uh, these cakes. Well, it's what I am. Oh, thank you, thank you, Debs. <laughs> uh, I hope, I hope at least, well, we have a, a delicious page here in this uh, beautiful book. Um, and, uh, and I am really, really looking forward to see all your versions from, uh, from this uh, coloring. Because I am coloring this way, but you know that you, you can color uh, in whatever way. For example, instead of Lyman, you can uh, put a tarte de orange <laughs> of uh, orange or whatever, whatever. There's many, many, many examples. For example, of uh, opera cake. I did this uh, top a little bit colorful. Um, and you can do it only with chocolate, for example. I don't know. You can search on Google, as I did, for reference pictures to see how are the cakes done or whatever and um, and you can do your own uh, own uh, version of this coloring that is the most interesting part you know that what i picked i have here the color palette for you always available uh, if you want it i can even send you by message uh yep yeah. That's it. I really like how the colors are coming up. Yeah, the background, I, I don't know how am I going to do. Maybe with pastels, because it's easier and faster uh, than with the color pencils, as I did this one. Uh, this one turned very beautiful. I like very much the wall of the house. Uh, if I could change, I would change here the vitra, uh, the glass, the glass of the door. I would change it here. Yeah. I would change it for sure. I would not put it so colorful, uh, but usually my mind goes to the colorful, <laughs> colorful, uh, to the colorful way. I don't know how to say it. That's why I color. I color. I call you all my colorful friends <laughs> uh, because it's my colorful life and to, to bring color from for you and you bring color to me. <laughs> yeah, uh, so that's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed my live stream uh, this Saturday. I have enjoyed so much your presence here uh for the ones that are always supporting me thank you so much yes um and i hope to see you uh next saturday tomorrow i will be live streaming morning uh, around half past 11 paris time on uh, instagram and later uh, on twitch uh let's see if i will manage or not uh, but yes, and here on YouTube with you next Saturday, always. And of course, uh, 
Tuesday or Wednesday, I will be uploading a new video for you guys. So thank you. Thank you so much for being here, for joining, for making me company to color with me. And do never forget that you are the best. See you guys. Bye-bye.